Previously sealed court documents in the murder case of Suzanne Morphew are now available to the public and they detail Suzanne and her husband Barry Morphew's rocky relationship. Investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf dug through the new records. He joins us in the studio tonight to explain these new developments. Quinn. Barry Morphew, the man previously accused of killing his wife Suzanne Morphew, told investigators their relationship was fine. But never before seen text messages from Suzanne tell a different story. He's also been abusive emotionally and physically. This is one of the many text messages Suzanne Morphew sent family and friends before she disappeared. They detail marital issues between her and her husband, Barry Morphew. I'm done. I could care less what you're up to and have been for years. We need to figure this out civilly. Suzanne texted Barry Morphew days before she disappeared. These messages contradict what Barry told investigators, that their marriage was fine. Meanwhile, Suzanne was having an affair, according to the documents. You're the only real love I've known, the only love I want, she messaged her lover. Barry Morphew's attorney had all the text messages sealed in April 2022 because it risked tainting the jury pool. These, these text messages are very damning, um, and it, it just continues to raise questions as to why the prosecution decided to dismiss the case. But Barry could be tried again unless a judge changes the ruling and dismisses the case with prejudice. Lowe says these new messages could keep that from happening. The prosecution and law enforcement is essentially saying, wait, hold up here. We still think this is the guy who did it. We don't think that you should be dismissing this case with prejudice. And oh, by the way, here's some of the evidence that you and the public doesn't know about yet. Also, during the hearing Monday, the prosecution claims they know where Suzanne's body is. I think they're grasping at straws right now. If they know where the body is, go get the body. Quit playing games. Iris E. Tanberry Morphew's attorney declined an interview but continues to say the 11th Judicial District Attorney lacked the evidence to arrest Morphew. 13 investigates reached out to the 11th DA, Linda Stanley, but we never heard back. Reporting live in the studio, Cornerstorf, 13 investigates. Mm.